Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel, you're welcome. My name is Kingsley Gabriel and we go practice brushes of Zeniba and in today's video we'll be talking about something very important. Yeah, oily skin. So I'll be giving you guys my top foundation for oily skin, foundations that I've worked with and that I've tried and uh, yeah, those stuff that I've tried and that uh, have worked for me over the years and they've given me the best results and I've never had anyone complain about it or about them. Stay tuned and let's get right into the video. In a particular order, the first foundation I'll be talking about is the Maybelline Super Stay. Now guys, this foundation is super full coverage. So if you're a super, um, if you're a um, full coverage queen, you need to go for this. It's oil free, it doesn't have oil, so it will last you all day, like mostly 12 hours, but obviously you won't want to wear makeup for 12 hours. But if you have a situation whereby you, you get to wear makeup for 12 hours, this will last you. But what I do most times is I just don't use one foundation alone. I like to mix two foundations together. And this foundation for the price, it's so worth it. Like this is very affordable and also good for the price. So if you like a full coverage, go for the Maybelline Super Stay. And you want the second foundation I have on my list is, you guessed it, the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. Now this is another full coverage foundation, and this one is on the high end side. Like it's quite expensive, but for the price, I think it's worth it. And they have an array of shades when it comes to the Too Faced foundation because Jackie Aina helped expand the shade. But what I do with my foundation most time is I just don't go out as, as a makeup artist. I don't go out to buy every single shade on their list. What I do is I pick like two medium, two light, and two dark shades, so I can be able to mix and match and get the perfect shade that I want. Cause I like to mix. I think I'm a mixologist when it comes to foundation. So guys, if you want to see how I prime my client's skin, cause usually I like to prime according to my client's skin type if you're oily skin i prime it um this is the way i prime if you're oily skin it, um do, rather the way i prime if you're oily skin is different from our prime on a dry skin client so depending on your skin and if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on how i prime just let me know because it's quite a process for uh it's good to prime because if you want your makeup to stay all day if you want your makeup not to budge or if you want it to be swept sweat proof because in lagos usually it's hot but right now it's raining season so everywhere is still chilled so your makeup will last a bit longer than normal if we were if we were on where cool. so the next foundation i have on my list is an og foundation like if you're a makeup artist and you don't need foundation are you even doing makeup like are you even doing makeup now this foundation is the max studio fix foundation uh you all know this foundation is dope like it's dope it's on the iron side but if you can afford it i say you should go for this foundation because it's good i've been I, I think i've been using this foundation f for like how many years now and it has never failed me with the right skin prep you're just good to go like i've had clients wear a makeup till the next day and i used just this foundation yes the next day we know it's not going to wear the makeup to the next day but some clients are like that we all have that one client that wants to wear the makeup the whole day so this one too is an oil free foundation and it has xpf if you know what xpf means if you don't know what xpf means xpf means um, some protective factor like it's it uh, protects your skin from from the sun so it's still good and the SPF factor it has is um, 15% so usually you want to wear more sunscreen if you'll be under the sun for longer hours another drugstore foundation that I've used for a very long time is the Revlon Color Stay foundation now with this foundation it's matte like it's very matte so uh, I'll say if you're dry skin stay away from this foundation like stay away because it would make you drier than normal and you will look your face will look patchy i don't know how to explain it but you really will not look nice with this foundation if you have a dry skin 
For oily skin, you can use the um, Revlon Color Stay. But with this foundation, I tend to find it that you need to work faster than normal because it dries like within a few minutes, it's already drying out. So you need to work fast with this foundation. And another drugstore is Maybelline Matte and Polish. So what I do with this foundation is I mix, I always mix both of them together. I always mix the super st the Revlon um, Color Stay and the Maybelline Matte and Polish. It, there's this finish it gives me that I really love. Now this one is super matte and this one is matte, but I, it, it doesn't dry as fast as the um, Revlon Color Stay. So you mixing them together it gives me enough time to work on the client and blend. And there's this finish it gives that it looks flawless and divine. For a drugstore foundation, who's texting me? For a drugstore foundation, hmm, this foundation is top. Another foundation I want to talk about is this one is a Nigerian brand that I swear by. You know, at first when I received this foundation in PR, I never thought I'd like it because I was like, okay, you know, there's this typical thing we have here in Nigeria. If it's a Nigerian brand, we always feel like, okay, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be good? But when I used it and I tried it, if I use this foundation on you and I tell you it's Mac, you will believe me because it was. This foundation stays like it stays all day. Like it really stays all day. This foundation is one foundation I encourage everyone to get and it's very, very, very affordable. Like I think it's like two, five, three thousand ish if you're in Nigeria. The name of the foundation is the Zikel, it's Zikel Cosmetics uh, Pro Matte High Definition Foundation. Yes. It is really pro matte pro pro matte like if you're dry skin i wouldn't recommend this foundation for you but but anyways i've not used it on a dry skin um client so i can't say but anything that says matte on a dry skin i usually don't go for it yeah but if it's um a demi matte slash dewy foundation yeah i'll go for it with a lot of priming it always works for me so that's what I tend to use for my dry skin babies. Another iron foundation that I've come to love for a while now is the um, Black Up Black Up Full Foundation Cream. Yeah, full coverage foundation cream. This one is very, very full coverage. Like it will literally cover your sins. This one is extremely full coverage. And the Becca, um, Ultimate coverage with four hours foundation. I like as well. This one. I feel like if I feel this foundation if you're dry skin You can get away with this foundation if you prime very well because it's not so matte If I do say so myself, it's not like extremely matte like this one is very matte This is very matte unlike this one this one is not super matte you know nowadays most brands want to come out with everything and they want to put the name matte 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 let them give us something for our dewy girls and for our dry skin babies we want something not so matte yeah we know that in our climate we need something matte as well but there are still some clients that have come across that who say they don't want something super matte they want their skin to look all dewy and all glowy yeah i do come across some clients like that and most times when we tend to stock up most things for majority of our clients who like mad and the struggle is always real but when i how i get away with those things is i prime and the way i would prime would give me the look i'm going for and then i'm happy and my client is super satisfied that's the most important thing when you're a makeup artist client satisfaction and yeah Lancome Tint a doll. Uh, I think this is one of my favorite foundations. This is one of my favorite foundations. Like this shit is everything. Like this is the real deal. It's full coverage, matte. Lord, I don't think there's anything but I have to say about this foundation. Like Lancome Tint a doll. Honey, it's a really nice foundation and it comes with a pump, so it's easier for you to just pump, 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 
other than the Mark One, the Mark One doesn't come with a pump, so you need to buy a pump for this one. I think this, I think it's on the Mark website. You just have to buy a pump for this. But this comes with a pump, and you just easy access, and you're good to go. This one doesn't feel heavy on the face. Yeah, you you um, you feel like you're wearing makeup, but it doesn't feel heavy on the face, like to the point where you feel caked. This is light. I don't know how to explain it, but this is unexplainable. But it's just that magic foundation that you need to get and you need to have in your makeup case. If you can afford this, by all means. Go. And this foundation is, it claims you can wear it for 24 hours. I don't know about that because uh, I've not had someone wear this for 24 hours. And then it said it's transfer free. Transfer free, I don't know, and I can't say because I've not tested it. Uh, usually, I don't. If you're a client, you don't rub off your makeup. Like. And guys, that's all the foundations I have for you guys today. Comment down below if you have anyone you want me to try that you've tried and it has worked for you. You know me, I'm a junkie when it comes to makeup and I like to collect makeup. And I always buy makeup. I always buy makeup. So, coming from Puchu and I. You say you should subscribe to our channel give us a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your loved ones and friends and until next time bye guys